One of the things that I think some athletes overlook in terms of the value of a good coach is not just their ability to get them strong, not just their ability to help them perform um, each lift technically correct so that they have consistent technique that they can rely on on competition, but also a good coach as I experienced it over the course of my career, um, 20 years, and I had four of the best coaches um, that you could have in terms of developing my career. And what I learned from them um, is that coaching goes beyond getting an athlete strong and getting an athlete um, to move correctly and even the mental um, aspect of it. But I think what is overlooked a lot of times in good coaching is a coach's ability to create a strategy and a plan. Obviously my goal was to make um, junior world teams and then once I became a senior athlete it was to make senior world teams and Pan Am teams and then when that happened and women were introduced, uh, women were going to be um, able to compete in the 2000 Olympics in 1998 when that was announced, that became my goal. Um, and that's what I try to use with my athletes. Go beyond just making them strong, go beyond just getting them to move correctly, but actually have a game plan, a performance plan to ensure that they hit their goals and um, hold them accountable when they're not actually doing the things um, that they need to do when they say they have this particular goal. If you want to make AO Series 1, if you want to make the American Open, if you want to make the national championships, if you want to make a Pan Am team, a world team, or an Olympic team, this is what it will require. So if you say you want it, your actions have to align with it. And as a coach, holding an athlete accountable to um, be disciplined and train in a way that achieves those goals uh, is really important.